Hi everyone, unboxing Galism here and welcome back to my channel. In this quick video I want to share with you some useful magic keyboard shortcuts which help you in your everyday life. Of course if you have a Macbook, these tips will work on its built-in keyboard as well. Before I started there is one important thing I need to mention. On the keyboard there are so called modifier keys, for example the command, option, Shift, Control. In order to use a shortcut, you need to use one of them. Keep in mind that you don't need to press the key combinations at the same time. So first press and hold the modifier key, then the secondary key. For example, Command C. The Command C is copy the selected content into the clipboard. The Command V is paste the copied item from the clipboard. The command X is cut the selected content. If you want to undo the changes, use the command Z. It is important to mention that, for some reason, you can't use the command X shortcut with files, but the copy, the paste, the undo functions work with them. The next useful shortcut is the command A. It will select everything in the file or in a notes. I think one of the most frequently used shortcuts for me is the command F. It will open the search bar in most applications like notes, word, safari and so on. I really like using the command S which activates the save functions in most applications. If you want to close the front window, just press the command W. But if you want to just hide the front window, just press the command H. To print a document, just press the command P button. If you are enjoying the video so far, just take a second and click on the subscribe button it really does help growing my channel. Thank you. If you need a new document or file, just press the command and keys. To use the spotlight search, you need to press the command and the space keys. In order to open the emoji tool, just press the control, the command, and the space. There could be cases when you need to force close an application. Press the option, command and escape and close the application. You can switch between the applications with the command tab. You can create screenshots with the following shortcuts. Command Shift 3 will capture your entire screen. If you have dual monitor, in that case both screens will be captured. Command Shift 4 will screenshot your selected area from the screen. The Command Shift 5 will be open the screenshot tool. In this tool you can capture the entire screen, capture selected window, or capture selected portion. Here you can record your screen as well. Record the entire screen or record selected portion. I want to show you the option menu. You can customize your recording like add the timer or select your microphone and so on. You can lock your screen with the Ctrl, Command, Q. You can log out your account with the Command, Shift, Q.
To put your Mac into sleep mode, just press the option Command Eject. The following shortcuts will be useful when you are using your Safari. You can open a new tab with the Command T. With the Command F keys you can search in a web page. If you press the command and click on a link, you can open a page in a new tab. You can switch between the tabs with the Ctrl, Shift and Tab keys. And my last tip is that with the command comma, you can open the preferences. These were all the useful shortcuts I am aware of. If you know another cool shortcut, please share with me in the comment section below. That's all I wanted to say about the shortcuts. I hope this short video helped you out and you learned something useful. If you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. That would be really appreciated and would help my channel grow. Thank you and see you in the next one.